Wassail, wassail, all over the town. Our bread it is white and our rail it is brown. Our bowl it is made of the white maple tree. With a wassailing bowl we'll drink to thee. And here is to Dobbin and to his red eye. I pray God send our master a good Christmas pie. And a good Christmas pie that may we all see. With our wassailing bow we'll drink to thee. And here is to Collie and to her long tail. Pray God send our master, he never may fail. A bowl of strong beer, I pray you draw near. When our jolly wassail, it's then you shall hear. Come butler, come bring us a bowl of your best. And we hope that your soul in heaven may rest. But if you do draw a bowl of the small, then down shall go butler, bowl, and all. Then here's to the maid in the lily white smock, who tripped to the door and slipped back the lock, who tripped to the door and pulled back the pin, for to let us jolly wassellers in. Wassail, wassail, all over the town, our bread it is white and our ale it is brown, our bowl it is made of the white maple tree, and a wassailing bowl will drink to thee. Wassail everyone, and Merry Christmas, and welcome to my channel, Stitching with the Dachshund. Today is December 20th. And tomorrow is Michael's birthday, my middle son. So happy birthday, Michael. I can't wait to see you again, son. Uh, time just goes too slow when you're not here. I need you home. So, welcome to all my subscribers and anybody new who might have uh, just come up on me. I normally do not start my channel off with a song, but I am in a joyous, youthful celebration kind of mood. And I love Christmas. It's my favorite holiday. I enjoy Halloween and I enjoy Thanksgiving, but the day after Thanksgiving, it's time for Christmas and the spirits of people rise and it's just, I love it. I love this stuff. The, in Texas where I'm from, we get cold. We don't get really freezing until January actually. So December is just a drop in that really hot weather. Um, we can get, it's December in Texas, we can do 70s, sometimes 80s, all the way down to below zero and freezing. So you never know what you're going to get year to year. Um, but it's, that, but when that weather changes after Thanksgiving, it's wonderful and I love it. So, on to what we have today. Uh, this could be a long one. I don't know. And I really don't care. I'm just going to yabber and talk and enjoy how I feel this holiday season. And we're going to throw in some stitching along the way. So sit back, get your drink. I really and truly do not know how long this is going to be. I did get my Color and Cotton Mystery Box. And I did a separate little video on it. And I'm going to attach it because I knew this was already going to be kind of long. Um, so that way, if you wanted to watch my uh, surprises, I look through everything, then you can. Thank you, my honey, Robert, who, who, we were at a wedding when it came up time that I could order it, and I'm elbowing him, and he orders it, and all that. He's, he's super, I love that man. Um, okay, like and subscribe, people. I have a goal for 2019. I want to increase my subscribers. I've got 477 just subscribers, which is great and wonderful. I love it. It's fun, floss tube making videos watching floss tube it is all fun i watched them for a year before i ever decided to do one and i'm like i want to do one and i've enjoyed every minute of it it is a challenge to me because i'm technically not savvy but it's all right i enjoy getting in front of the camera and talking to you as you can tell i'm kind of in a mood if you're new this is, i'm usually not this excited my dogs are inside it is a rainy cold day in Colorado, texas and so I had them outside when I filmed Color and Cotton, and I had to bring them in because it's just a little too cold. Pit bulls and American Bulldogs are, they don't have a lot of hair, so cold's not the greatest thing for them. So they're in, um, and they hear something outside, so they've got to let us know. I am surprised that nobody howled while I was singing. Anyway, 
Subscribers, I want to get more subscribers. I don't know why, there's no benefit to it. I'm not gonna make any money, I'm not, you know, whatever. But I think it'd be fun to have a lot more subscribers. Um, so my goal, so like and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your friends. Go watch this goofy girl. Uh, I'm helping her increase her subscribers. You can also follow me on Instagram at Stitching with the Dachshund. Uh, I post there almost every day, uh, my stitching and stuff like that. So, um, follow me there. So, let's get on to, you know, I always do a family update. So, what is happening in my family, the kiddos? Let's start there first. Uh, James has made a decision to find a job and move to Bryan College Station. He's got a friend down there who works uh, for the college. And, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, thinks he can get him a job, which really works out good because then he can start going back to college after the big happening that happened. Not his fault, but what happened. Uh, Michael, still in uh, Arizona. His time is ticking down to when he gets out of the Marines and he'll be home again. Um, I mean, home, home, but he'll be back uh, in Texas, and that thrills me. Um, Sarah, still just shooting his feet. She is still in school, so she goes to work in the morning, school in the afternoon, or at night, actually. She doesn't get home until about 10.30. Uh, she's always on the go. Uh, wears herself out. Sundays are her only days that she doesn't have school or uh, work. So Sundays is her rest day, but the girl doesn't rest. Last Sunday, she went to the Copper's Cove, uh, uh, or my needle workshop, actually, to a little club who was doing... Pause. Momo! Stop! There's no boogie bears! It's just the wind! Okay, anyway, she went to a club that had a drag queen, I don't know, I don't think competition, show, drag queen show, uh, because my daughter is one of the most adventurous people I know. She went, she had a great time, she was like, Mom, I think you would enjoy it, you need to go with me next time, and I'm like, I think I do, I think I need to go. So, kiddos are doing great. Robert has not had a lot of time to get in the shop and move forward on those wonderful boots he's working on. It's the Christmas season. I mean, look at me. I'm over a month since the last video. Um, but we all, I told him this year I wanted to go see Christmas lights. I wanted to do a little bit more Christmas spirity things. Uh, so we're trying. And uh, so he has not got a lot of work done in the shop. So I really won't have anything done at the main cave section to show you. Uh, hopefully soon he will be able to get in there, but this weekend is not going to happen because Friday, which is tomorrow, I'm really super excited about this, my nephew and my brother-in-law, uh, what do they call themselves, the Pitts, uh, their last name is Pitts, but, um, they sing country and play the guitars and they are amazing. I know most people say their family is amazing. These guys can really sing. As a matter of fact, Chance wrote a song about his relationship with my son, Michael, uh, Chancey's Michael Chance and my son's Michael Fabian. And uh, they've been tight since the day they were born. They were born 11 days apart. Uh, we were pregnant at the same time, drove my brother crazy, but it was great. Uh, so they have been close for forever. So he wrote him a song and it made me cry the first time I heard it. And they are going to be playing Friday night in Temple, I believe it. This place called BJ's. It's a chain, it's everywhere. It's and so we're going to go listen to them Friday. So no time to work in the shop. He'll get home, get cleaned up, and we'll probably head out, get supper, and listen to, to the pits. Uh, Saturday is going to be our Christmas uh, celebration. Um, we're going to go out to Westphalia, out in the middle of the country, probably shoot some guns and shotguns and all that stuff. I don't know why we do that, but we do. It's fun. And um, celebrate with my side of the family out there. Uh, so that'll be Saturday and he won't get in the shop because he won't go in the mornings and work because he gets all caught up and then, I mean, if he has something to do in the afternoon, he can't really go in the morning because he gets to rolling and once you get rolling on something, just like with cross stitch, if you're in a groove and you're going and you stop that groove and you try to go back to it, it's just not the same. So uh, Saturday's out because of that. Sunday, him, Sarah, and James are going to go play airsoft and they usually leave early in the morning and come back. Early afternoon, late afternoon, summer's in there. It depends on when they get tired. If it's windy and cold like this, they'll be back early afternoon. So I, I am going to stitch on Saturday. Um, that's my goal, and I can't wait. Can't cook cookies, but I'll get to that. So that is my uh, family update. Can't wait to go hear my nephew, Chance Pitts, and my brother-in-law, Billy Pitts. 
I think they have a Facebook page, and if they do, I'm going to link it below, because if you get a moment, go listen to them. They are really, really great. Um, crazy stuff happening this time of year, too. Okay, I believe things happen in three. I think deaths happen in three. Uh, great things happen in threes. Not so great things happen in threes. It's just what it seems like in my life. So, about two weeks ago, we I was trying to watch some Floss 2, and my TV just went blank. Just boop, and black. And I was like, oh no, did my TV go out? Uh, well, it come to find out, after I got home and he looked it all over, that uh, it was our Amazon Fire Stick that had actually went out. So he ordered uh, a Roku uh, this time around, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. But because of that, I didn't get to watch much Flustery because I can't watch it on my phone because I have my patterns on my phone, a lot of my patterns that I'm doing. And I just don't have a place in my little stitch corner to put my computer up. So I was off on a uh, little behind on fall off tube. That's okay. While the TV was out for two or three nights, me and my husband and my daughter started playing cards, which we forgot how much we enjoy playing cards. Uh, so we play hand and foot. It was so much fun. So the first thing, Amazon Fire Stick, bloop, gone. Last Sunday, I had an ornament exchange I was going to go to, and we were going to have to leave the house at 2.30. Well, that morning, of all things, gurgle, gurgle, sewer backs up. Nasty! Luckily, it didn't back up and go all the way into on the floors or anything like that. So, um, we were like, ugh, not great. Um, my husband thought, after going to look at it, that he was going to have to dig it up. My husband doesn't call uh, services unless he has to. He tries to do it himself. Um, but luckily we were able to get it working and got it flushed out and we got some root kill in there things like that. So we got taken care of. So that's two sewer backup. On the same day, like I said, I was going to go do a Christmas ornament exchange. All excited. So it's a potluck. So I'm like, I think I'll make cookies. So I go in there, start mixing my cookies. I preheat my oven, and I'm sitting. This is my kitchen back here. When I wash dishes, I look through this little window at my husband, and my front room's right here. My husband sits over there. TV's over there, and uh, so I'm around the corner, right over here, talking to Robert. He's sitting in his chair, and all of a sudden, boom, flash, smoke. My oven blew up. I'm talking blew up. Big pop, big noise, flash of light. My daughter said, "Oh my God, I saw the flash of light." So Robert said, well, we definitely blew a breaker. So he went and cut off the breaker, and he pulled it out, and he's looking at it. Um, he starts having to take it all apart. Um, he winds up totally pulling out my stove and oven. Oh, my God, doesn't that get nasty? And I'm a clean person, and that got nasty. So I took the time to clean all that up while he was ripping things apart. So he gets it all ripped apart. He sees what's happened. Uh, he's an industrial and maintenance supervisor and safety guy. He knows how to fix things. And he's like, oh, yeah, I can get this and this and this, and we can fix it up. So he said, but if you want to go to the Christmas ornament, I can do that after the exchange. And I'm like, yeah, 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 I get to go. Because I had my phone out typing out, hey, we're not going. This is what happened. I even took a picture of it. Um, I have taken a part across the floor. So we go to the Christmas exchange, and I got some really cute. Which which side are they on? Okay. Oh my gosh. That's what one of the ones I got. Well, I either got or Robert got. I don't know. One of us got this one. Oh, my hat's going to fall off. That's okay. We're just going to leave it over here. And the other one is this cute little angel. This is 2018. Aren't they cute? So we managed to go to that and had a ball. It is it was an exchange, but it was done with dice. So everybody got a a ornament wrapped up or in a bag, and uh, they put two dice in the in a bowl and you passed the bowl and you all had your ornament in front of it. And whatever rolled corresponded with something on the paper. Like you, you could uh, pass to the right. Only you pass and switch with the person on your right. Switch with the person on your left. Everybody turns it right. Everybody turns it left. Or uh, open your gift have somebody else open their gift, things like that. And it keeps going around and around until uh, all the gifts are open. I like this so much. I usually don't do like the white elephant ones because I get very upset when my things get stolen, especially if I really, really want it. If it's a cardinal or a dachshund and I got it and I'm all excited and someone steals it, I get really mad and upset. So I don't do those kind of exchanges. And I don't like to steal because I'm like, what if that person really, 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 really loves it? Like, I love this. I don't have the heart to do it. So, I don't, 
it's not good for me. I can't steal because I don't want to hurt your feelings. And I get upset when someone steals something I really, really want. So this one worked out great. I loved it. I love going. As a matter of fact, at the next Cook Skill Christmas party, which will be next year, of course, um, I think we're going to do that. We have a really fun time with a sock exchange anyway. But, uh, boy, I'm just a talking. I hope y'all are enjoying my rambling. Uh, told you I was excited. It's the, it's the Yule season. Um, so, crazy stuff. And then the oven. So, three things. Amazon Fire Stick, sewer backup, oven blow up. So, I can't cook any cookies. I can't cook any cakes. The wind is blowing and the things on the top of the house make noise. And he thinks it's a baby bear or the mailman. One and, one and the same in his eyes. All right, guys. Get it. Thank you. Um, so anyway, hopefully that's over with and the rest of the season is going to be wonderful. Um, what do I want to talk about now? Christmas cards. We, I love Christmas cards. I've always been a lover of sending out Christmas cards. I love getting Christmas cards, but it's a dying kind of thing. You know, uh, people hand them out at work. It's not the same as getting one in the mail. Our people send you a, a, a um, text message, a joint Merry Christmas. Not the same. I love Christmas cards. I love picking out the Christmas cards. I love addressing the Christmas cards because I do a calligraphy thing. I'm not good at calligraphy, but I love doing it. Um, I definitely send out a lot more than I get. I've got some here. I don't know if you can see this one. I'm going to yank it off because this one right here happens to be my favorite. Isn't it beautiful? I love cardinals. Uh, this one is actually from Melanie Smith at from Yarns and Thread. If you don't watch her, you need to watch her. She is amazing. I I like her. We could be friends. I know it. Um, then I got, of course, the one from the sisters, Olivia. Let me get it. I know you've all seen it. Um, Olivia and Ellen. Elena, what am I doing? Can't even talk. Everybody's seen these before already, so I won't spend a lot of time showing you that since I'm talking so much. They do such beautiful things, and they lead this community with creativity. I think Michelle Bindi leads it with service and support and always there and always that we can do it spirit, and oh, she's really a blessed person and blesses a lot of people. These two, I think, lead in spontaneity, fun, uh, something different, um, all the time doing something different. And that what do they think up next is, it's kind of exciting to see what they'll do next. I, I love those two girls. They're, they're fun for me. Um, so I got all mine sent out. Normally when I was working at the school, I used my spring break or my Christmas break, I'm sorry, I can't even think, my summer break to address all my, I was always ahead. I did address all my Christmas cards. So I'd get all my Christmas cards addressed. And then, so December 1st, I can mail them out because that's my goal. I love Christmas cards. I love having them hanging for the whole time. Um, so I send them out. Because think about it. You get, I try to mail them out December 1st. You get the third or the fourth. Oh my God, if you're not in the Christmas spirit, getting a Christmas card in the mail should put you in the Christmas spirit. Now, I don't buy my Christmas cards the year up because... I always buy them during the clearance because I love them all. And there's so many that I, I could spend hours just looking at them because they're beautiful and I enjoy reading what's in them and all that. So I wait to the clearance. There's a lot less and I don't get as bogged down. Uh, but there are still beautiful, beautiful cards left at the end of the season on clearance. Oh, and I save money because they're on clearance. So it's all good. So Christmas cards... Love them, love them, love them. I got my notes down here. That's why I don't want to miss anything. Uh, one thing before I get into stitching, I have to show you this. My niece, Allison Pitts, she's married to my nephew, Chance. Um, she has one of the vinyl. She does a vinyl, the vinyl cuts and puts them on glasses, fabric, things like that. Uh, she has a little business, and I'll post her below. Because when you see this, you're going to be like, I need something like that. Anyway... Isn't that cute? Yeah, it does. It says, Stitching with a Dachshund. This is not going to be something I put away. Nope. It's going to be something that hangs up all year long. The fabric isn't Christmas. It's Paul Prince. 
and then of their white, the green, and their red. And then the stitch with the dots and cut out. Love it. As a matter of fact, I think I need to make this like my Facebook thing, maybe. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Beautiful. Allison Pitts, thank you so much for, for making this for me. Y'all people, this is, this is the cutest thing. It made my day when I got it. I was like super cool. So, let's finally move on to some stitching because that's really why we're all here. We just, but we ramble on and talk. Uh, but I'm having a good time, so it's all right. Um, now, I will tell you, <coughs> like I said, I filmed the Color and Cotton um, opening. That'll be another video that goes up. I'm also going to do a separate video for, I want to do Year of Whips this year, so I'm going to do a separate video for that and uh, my 2019 plans. So um, you'll see quite a few videos pop up right here. Um, so um, I, it could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's what you're going to see. Okay, Firefly. I've told you, I've shown you when it was finished and it has the uh, glow in the dark threads on it. It's at the Framers. I am so excited. I can't wait to uh, get it. We are planning to meet up with Shaw and Kirk in January. He still has no idea that he's getting this gift. Um, so I'm pretty stoked about, about getting it uh, and giving it to him just to see his face. I gotta film his face because I know he's gonna be like, I know he's gonna love it and I wanna see his reaction. So Firefly it, from Phantom Stitchery. God, I should've wrote that down. Um, I'll try to link it below. She has some really great patterns. I'm fixing to order another one because I just have to have it. Ain't no excuse other than I got to have it. I'm gonna ring my cowbell. Okay, so finishes. The I got a couple of finishes, not a lot, but this is one that I had showed y'all before. This one, when I showed it to you the last, it had only him. And he wasn't even finished. So I actually finished this up uh, a little after the last filming. I, I just like, I get obsessed when I get on a pattern sometimes and I just can't put it down. I've got to work on it till I'm just done with it. So this one's ironed. Um, I actually want to get it, I want to get this one framed. There's a few that I know that I want to get framed and some that I want to do other things too. Speaking of finishes, I did not do any finishing like I planned to do. They're still on the box. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's drink it. So, um, and I got a couple of embroidery pieces done. I was working on the deer. Right there. I'm trying to put my head over here. Ah! Okay. I was working on the deer the last time I showed this, and so the deer is finished. Isn't he marvelous? I still don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'm thinking a wall hanger, and I really keep going that away, so it probably will. Um, I showed you this not even started uh, the last time. Isn't it pretty? I kind of did the lettering down here in a pink and a white, kind of resembling a, a candy cane. It's my favorite holiday treat. Candy cane or candy... The, my favorite holiday candy is uh, candy cane. The good candy canes. Not the cheap, cheap candy cane. The good candy canes. Um, and so I did that. He's really cute. I love it. Now, what you can't see, I don't know, is in the windows, I colored them. Well, that was really cute. I saw some people doing that on Instagram, and I thought, I'm going to do that. So the bucket that the tree's planted in is uh, colored and all the windows are colored a little yellow like there's a light in there so I love him I gotta finish some more want to do a little bit more embroidery this year it's on my list so those were my finishes like I said not a lot of finish but not complaining about it because I've been a little busy so some whips that I've been working on I got of course more whips but the ones that I've been <coughs> working on I got here this one is Two Angry Birds. Now, there is a sow going on for Two Angry Birds, and it could be any Two Angry Birds. It doesn't have to be these Two Angry Birds. I guess birds stay pretty mad at each other. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so if you want to join, it's Two Angry Birds. Two Angry Birds. Sow, I think. Um, I don't know who's all doing it. I know Fat Cat um, 
Flossing had talked about it and Tash, the star across Stitcher, uh, is doing a different two birds. Uh, it's nothing that we're all working on and seeing who can get done or getting it done within the next few months. It's some, few months is something that uh, it'll take a few years to get done probably. Uh, so join us anytime you want to. So I haven't gotten far and I don't even know if I've really gotten any farther than the last time I saw you. But this is where I'm at. That's kind of cool. Um, so I, I'm enjoy. I enjoy this. It's going to be beautiful. It's one that I've wanted to start for a long time. It's from Shakespeare's Peddler, and uh, I love her stuff. I love her YouTube channel. I love her her stuff. Um, but I have to say, kitten stitcher, that I haven't been stitching on that. But I haven't been cheating on you either, because I got this in the mail from Stitching Buttons, and. Hey. And um, I've been working on it. Because when this one came out, I knew that I wanted it. Stitch and, Bu Stitch and Buttons had tried on it. Vicki had tried it. And she really didn't care for the pattern. So she called me and or got in contact. She had already decided she was going to send it to me after the beginning of the year. And then uh, she said, you know, I'm just not enjoying it. Do you want it now? And I'm like, yes, I do. So as soon as it got here, I started working on it. Oh, I got my two needle minder. Let's make sure I get that so the dogs won't get it. Um, this is where I'm at on it. Let me put it this way. Isn't it pretty? Whoop, there I am. Okay, so that's where I'm at on it. I'm really enjoying it. I got a, I got a mess up though, I got to tell you. When I counted down on this silly little fox for this thing down here, I counted on the wrong leg. It's supposed to be over more, and this is supposed to be bigger and come down further. But I'm not going to worry about it because I don't care. You know, it's still going to be it's going to be good. This is not going to be a focal point, so uh, I'm good with that. But I was I just laughed because I counted from the, this foot down instead of that foot down and started stitching. But that's all right. Um, enjoying the heck out of it. Thank you, Teresa, for this pattern because I'm I'm loving it. This is the one, one of the ones that I've got on my phone, so I can blow it up and look at it really good. Now, another whip that I'm working on that I am, when I saw it, I had to have it, and it is from Twin Peak Primitives, and that is Christmas Lantern. I, there's something about this that is just striking to me, and I love it, and uh, so I've been working on it. Really and truly, I've been working on it and uh, here lie my needles more than any other piece, uh, except for the penguin one that I'll come up in a little bit and show you. But that's the picture of it, and this is where I'm at on it. Isn't she pretty? That little bird is is great. I love that little bird. Um, but look at that. That is to me is just beautiful. And I, I get excited every time I get to work on it, so. But I try to split the two, you know. I don't know why. Um, but I know me too that if I get really obsessed with one, then I'm going to, I'll work on that one and won't switch out. That's why rotations don't work for me. Because if I really like a pattern, I won't stop to move it to another one. Nope. It's, I'm going to work on it until I'm, I don't want to work on it again. Okay, another whip that I have and I have not moved very far on, is my Snowflower Diaries. This is November. This was actually my birthday start, and this is as far as I got on it. I love, love, love the material that it's on in that bird. I love it. Oh, I don't know why I don't work a little bit more on that. Because I'm addicted to the other one. I can't explain it. So the one that I'm working on to try to get done for Christmas is actually one for my my daughter's uh, boyfriend, not boyfriend. Their boyfriend, I started working on it because he loves penguins. They broke up, but they're still hanging out, but they broke up. La, la, la. I don't know what's going on there. So anyway, it's Penny the Penguin's Christmas Heart. Since he likes penguins, I saw it, had to have it to do it for him. And this is where I'm at on it. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh. You know what I find amusing though? Is on here. It says, note. 
Using DMC floss will give this project a different look than what is shown in the photo on the front and back of this pattern cover. Y you think? Look at the hat on that. I love that color hat, and I should have took the time to find that color in DMC. This is the DMC color that they chose. you would try to get a DMC that's kind of close. I'm not gripe about it. I, it's cute. I mean, I could have went and found a floss, but I was like, I already pulled these. and I'm, I'm not getting up out of my nice, comfortable chair with my mocha. I'm just sitting here and stitch it. And my daughter's favorite color is pink. That's kind of a peachy pink, so it's all good. Everything's all good. Always all good. Okay. So, did I do all that? Got my embroideries in there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Some purchases. Last video I said I had ordered the blues from Rolanda's, uh, hand dyed by Rolanda. These are the blues. Aren't they beautiful? Mm, beautiful, beautiful. Love them. Now, I do have a couple of purchases. Um, not a lot. When I was at um, Needleworks, over a month ago. I haven't been back. Well, I went for like three weekends in a row, so I really don't need anything. They're probably having a Christmas sale. I probably should go, but I really don't need it. So this one is called, uh, it's from Little House Needleworks, Caroling Quartet. I just thought it was cute. Can y'all see that good enough? Um, and while I was there, Trixie, oh, that Trixie, she is great though. I love going in there, and I'm like, Trixie, got a problem, or Trixie, I need you. And she's like, what's up? What you need? And she just gets over there. She looks at my pattern, and she goes, do you want to keep the thread? She starts asking questions, and then she starts pulling fabric. Um, she, amazing. Amazing. I love you, Trixie. You are so wonderful when I go in there. Um, great customer service great person. I love talking to her. Wish I had a car so I could go stitch with her a little bit more. So, but she's sneaky. She showed me this beautiful fabric. Can y'all see that? With the snowflake, well, I call them snowflakes, with the droppings of white in it. So, I got, that's what the penguins on. That's what I'm going to put the carolers on. And then I also bought, because I love cardinals, I got that. So, they're not anywhere in my going to do it really soon pile, but um, I will work on those. I got a few gifts in the mail. Um, I'm not going to say uh, her full name. Melinda. Oh, I got an itch. Excuse me. Oh, got a bad itch. Okay, got it. I'm okay. Um, she sent me this. These just so touched. I'm just like, yeah, they're beautiful. Miss Liberty. She sent me that. Hee hee, my pretty. This is just so cute. Thank you, Melinda. You're just so special. Wag your tail. <laughs> so cute. Oh, Lord, that's cute. That just might have to happen. Ooh. And it's on that material. I'm hot. Okay. It's on that material that is brown and has white spots. And I've been wanting to do something on that. So maybe a trip to Needleworks is in order. Okay. Dogs leave paw prints on your heart. The Lizzie Kate. Oh, I love that. Love it. And look at this. This is Hetty the Hedgehog. It's a pin cushion. Oh, it's so cute. I... I can't wait to stitch some of these. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Melinda. Um, didn't have to do that. I, I love it, though, and I appreciate it. Now, we have to move on to the winners from the last uh, video. And I do have to apologize to somebody because I, it, it totally spaced my mind. I spaced it. This one was won by Joanne. And I put it with a pile of stuff waiting for addresses. 
and it hasn't gotten mailed out. I will get this mailed out. I am sorry, 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 Joanne. It will get mailed out. Um, because that was from the last one, the previous video. Um, but I did say that this one was still available for anybody who wanted it, and Linda said, I'll take it. So that one's out of here. This one is Holiday Stitches, 1990. That Pammy stitches will receive uh since i'm waiting on the address so i have to go check she might have already sent it to me uh we gotta go look and cross stitch weekend cross stitch gifts davis kathy got that one so i will be getting these in the mail these might actually go out after christmas because going to the mail post office right now is just uh, a little bit crazy so let me see did i have covered a lot but i did want to talk to y'all about something I watched, you know, I watch a lot of floss too. And we had my Cook's Guild meeting, and these two kind of go together. My Cook's Guild meeting uh, last Wednesday, which was amazing. We had 21 adults, five children in my house. It was packed, but we had so much fun. Every year we do a sock exchange, and inside that sock exchange, we put a gift certificate All right, from anywhere. Um, everybody plays, and we do the, a poem that has left and right in it. And every time it says left, you turn it, you to the left, to the right, you know, and you do that. Next year I'm thinking we're gonna do the dice thing because I enjoyed that so much. So anyway, um, I don't even know why I was talking about the sock thing. But anyway, we did Pizzelles. Oh, I was gonna show you my Pizzelle. Anyway, um, and they were delicious. Well, it was a potluck and Nellie brought uh, Pizzelles. And they're very, they're actually a medieval uh, treat. Um, they actually were made over an open fire with irons that you, oh, whoop, whoop. and uh, they had like the king's arms on them and stuff like that. So when they made them, they put a, it's like almost like a waffle thing. You think of a waffle arm, put a little dough in there, you squish it. But pizzelles taste wonderful. Um, so we did, I enjoyed those. We had a big old crowd of people. We did the sock exchange. Um, but, oh, that's why I was going to tell you. See? Old age. Um, it's a potluck. And so I made something for food-wise, but I wanted drinks. So I started looking up wassail and eggnog recipes. So I got on YouTube, and I was like, let me look. And I came across these two ladies who do retro recipes, bring them back to life. I'm talking from the 50s, 60s, 70s. Uh, they actually touched some... Very few, but a couple from like 16-something and old cookbooks that they have. And um, they are called Research Archaeology. And they are funny and entertaining. Um, so I watched, I went through all of theirs. They've been on a couple years already. But their videos are only like 10, 11, 12 minutes long. They're not very long. They occasionally go live. Um, but anyway, I so enjoyed them. And I watched them do a wassail. And then they also had an eggnog. Eggnog was from like 1957 in Helen Corbett's cookbook. I don't know where the wassail came from. Um, but when they drink it, you could tell there's a lot of recipes that they're like, oh no, don't make this. It's horrible. Um, but there's a lot of them that's still good. And they're like, make this. This is good. And the wassail and the eggnog was two of those that did that. And I was like, hmm, I'm going to make that for my Yule party. That's what I'm going to do. And I did. Uh, I did a practice run a couple days before with alcohol in it, um, but then when I made it for the party, I didn't put alcohol in it because people have to drive home. So I made wassail and I made eggnog, and there was none left. This eggnog recipe is so delicious. Um, I even made like I quartered the recipe because it makes for thirty because it's a party. It's for a party, so I quartered it. Um, my husband drank so much the first time I made it, it made him sick. I mean, really sick. He got so sugary sick, he even threw up. It was bad. But he kept drinking it because it was so good. So when I made mine, I call it mine because he was like, I can't look at it. I can't even look at it. Um, I made a little quarter recipe just for me because uh, James doesn't drink it. Sarah likes it, but she's never here. Um, so go watch these ladies. Recipe, recipe archaeology. They're fun. They're entertaining. You're going to enjoy them. They're also on Instagram and a Facebook. I don't know them. They're from Oklahoma, but um, if I ever had a chance to meet them, I definitely would meet them. Uh, I know one's a teacher. I don't know what the other one does. Uh, I think they, she was a teacher one time. I don't know. Uh, love them. 
love to watch their recipes or uh, their uh, show. Let me think. Is there anything else? I don't think so. I think I covered it all. I'm going to organize myself at some point today and try to figure out my 2019 plans. I know I'm going to do your whips this year. Um, look for my uh, unboxing, which was super fun and super exciting. I love that. And uh, I guess there's only one last thing I have to say to you, and that is put some thread and needle and get to stitching. See y'all later.